Good afternoon. The sunshine sure feels nice outside, especially when it uh, affects the roads in a positive way. This morning's commute was a mess, but much, much better now as we have the sunshine really warming up those road temperatures. Here's a live look in Roanoke now from our Carilion Sky Cam. We have filtering of the sun going on, a few of those higher clouds streaming in, but otherwise the sun having a big time effect again on the roads. Also on the temperatures, look at this. We are 25 degrees warmer at this hour than we were yesterday. 23 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago in Smith Mountain Lake. Much, much warmer today than yesterday as well across south side and even in the New River Valley as temperatures continue to head towards the 60s today. We're back in the middle 50s right now in Roanoke. Same deal for us in South Boston. Upper 40s approaching 50 degrees in the New River Valley as we speak. Warmer days even than this are coming at us once we get towards Thursday and Friday, especially Friday. Again, temperatures now hanging out in the middle 50s by 3 o'clock. We're still in the low to mid 50s with sunshine mixed with a few clouds on there. But again, the evening commute going to be much, much better than what we saw this morning as temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Ice does not stand a chance unless it's in the shade and it may take a little bit more time on those side streets if those are in the shady locations. Satellite and radar showing a mainly cloudy sky, but it's that thin overcast again along in west of the Blue Ridge. So again, the sunshine having no problem on getting through and warming us back up into the 50s. Tracking those clouds again, a closer view showing we have those clouds along and west of the Blue Ridge. More sunshine across south side, but man, it is nice. Temperatures getting back into the 50s again on our way to 60 almost for some of us. Looking towards the lunch hour again where we are right now. Future Tracker doing a nice job pinpointing where those clouds are working their way through. We'll have more clouds come through later on tonight. And especially overnight, tomorrow's going to feature a mainly cloudy afternoon. There's 530 in the morning. Commute should be much, much better. Still could be a patchy icy spot or two, but nothing like we saw this morning as uh, we'll get the refreeze again tonight under mostly cloudy skies. Looking towards the afternoon and evening tomorrow, those clouds are staying with us. And we're going to keep the clouds for the next couple of days and then add a few showers in the mix. There's Thursday morning. There's four o'clock, a few stray showers in the mix. Nothing to write home about there. Nothing too terribly heavy on Thursday. Better opportunity for some more steady rain once we get into Friday. Also better opportunity for us to potentially jump into the mid 60s. Our bitter cold as we've been talking about retreating back to Canada and back to the Arctic. Look at all the reds and yellows and oranges. That's the warmth and we have not seen warm air like this really anywhere in the United States in the last two or three weeks. And now that's working its way in this direction. Big time storm system that's going to bring a lot of snow to places like Minnesota and the Dakotas and eventually a blast of cold air to us going to pull in much, much warmer air for Thursday and Friday. There's eight o'clock on Friday. You see those yellows coming back. That's the potential for some low to mid 60s air for us as we head towards the end of the work week. Much colder air though for the weekend again. Temperatures tonight getting back into the middle 30s under partly cloudy skies. Again, watch for a few patchy slick spots for the morning commute. Nothing though like what we saw this morning. Middle 40s tomorrow, jumping back up into the lower 50s. And that 60 number on Friday could be conservative, especially if we get a few hours of dry weather in the afternoon. Nonetheless, very, very warm to close out the work week. Much colder though. Again, heading back into the weekend, Patrick.